for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymadencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video. And today, we're actually not doing Ultimate Team. We're doing a franchise. We're going to be rebuilding the Giants. We won't actually be playing. We're going to be rebuilding them from the current state that they're in. See if we could make them at the best state that they could be for the next following season. I'm obviously a Giants fan, if you guys don't know. If you're new to the channel, I'm a Giants fan. So I'm look, I've am look. i been looking forward to this, and this should be fun. Hopefully, we make some good draft moves. Got to try to get the picks that we have in real life. And then try to work without Odell, see if we could replace him somehow. And see how that goes. So... Shouldn't be too long of a video, probably decently long. I'll see how this ends up turning out with some editing, but excited to do this. Something new on the channel, new, 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 fresh thing to be putting into the into your sub feed. So hopefully you enjoy it. Now before I get into the video, guys, I still have that 75k coin quick sell. So if you we didn't hit the like goal, so if we can get 150 likes on this video, I will be giving it away to a random commenter. I still have it. So 75k quick sell. Comment down below 75k. Drop a like, and that's it. If we hit 150 likes, I'll be giving it away. I still got it. And also, if we hit 2K subs tonight, we'll be dropping the 300K giveaway also. So, sorry for delaying the intro, just letting you guys know. But just make sure to like, comment, and sub, because when we hit 2K subs tonight, and if we hit 150K likes, you guys get 300K and 75K. It's a ton of coins. So, make sure to comment down below, go back to the other video, enter the giveaway. But anyways, let me get into the video. So, starting off with the New York Giants here. Um, I think I'll stick with the coach. Let me just go through the settings real quick, make sure everything's all good. Not like this really matters. Trade type, yep. Salary. Um, this looks like it'll be okay. We'll start here. Let me change the starting point. Yeah, I'll change the starting point to regular season, though. Because I don't really got to worry about preseason. I'm just simming the season so I can get to the free agency and the draft. All right, let's get into this. So, sadly, sticking with coaching and ownership. Can't make that change. Because they won't be making that change this year. So, I'm trying to keep it realistic as possible. So, let's see. If the, so far, this is when we're going into, um, going into free agency with. We've got Nate Soldier, Will Hernandez, Jalapio, Zeitler, Wheeler, Engram, Shepard. Elijah Penny, Eli Manning, Saquon Barkley, Golden Tate. Defensively, it gets way worse. Janoris Jenkins, Hill, Tomlinson, Edwards Jr., Haley, Jabril Peppers, a new addition. Lorenzo Carter, BJ Goodson, Alec Ogletree, Marcus Golden, and Thomas. That's all we got. It's looking really, really bad. I can only imagine. I don't think there's much we can even do in one offseason. We'll see how this is going to go. So, I'll set the season goal <laughs> to, to making first overall pick. Can I do that? Commit your goal for the year. I'm going to go with... Um, can I do get the... F uh, I'm not even going to get seven wins. That's ridiculous, but let's see. Imagine Eli retires this offseason. That'd be funny. All right, so let's sim to about midseason. We'll see how the team's looking. I'm going to have to trade... I'm going to see if the Giants after this have the pick, though, because maybe they have the... I don't know if they gave them the Browns pick in this roster. If not, I'll go trade for it. I need that 17th overall pick. And also, I need the... What we, the seventh so i gotta just see how he's gonna look first or sixth i should say let's see what we got let's see what picks we have first so so far the giants are <laughs> we're six and one we're leading the division of course we're gonna make playoffs watch wow we're six and one leading the division with this team it's like the franchise is something else sometimes it really is available so, okay so i can't even do that can i check at least my picks here does it let you check picks through here? Yeah, it does. Okay, so we do not have their first round picks. So we're going to have to trade for that. So I've been making a few trades in the offseason. Um, for some reason, we are... Uh, Saquon must be carrying the team or something because we're winning the division. Hopefully, we flame out the rest of the season. There's no way we're going to make playoffs. It's unreal. Imagine we win the Super Bowl, too. That'd be crazy. <coughs> this wouldn't be realistic at all anymore. All right, week 17. Let's see what we can do. Please tell me we didn't make playoffs. We won one more game for the rest of the season. Wow. That's actually pretty realistic. Like, like the Giants this year. That's not, that's not too off. It's not horrible. A little, little above where we should have been, but we actually won one game the rest of the year. All right. Why did we sign so many practice players? Oh, we extended Shermer. Okay, that's cool. All right, sim to Super Bowl. Let's see who, win the Super, let's see who wins the Super Bowl here. Let's see how realistic this is. Who's in the Super Bowl? It all comes down to this. Packers and the Chargers. Nope. That didn't happen. All right, next week offseason. Okay, let's see what we can do in the offseason. So we got to resign some players. 
So who are we going to be keeping? So we're going to obviously be keeping Rosas. He's, just, he's an amazing kicker. Negotiate with him. We will be giving him a pretty good offer. Actually, let's let's keep it at... What's he want? Let's tell him what he wants. Hmm. Fair offer is 16 million, 0.35 years. All right, we're going to give him the fair offer. I, oh, okay. Rosas is out. I'm not, I might franchise tag him. Okay, he's obviously on the team next year, so I'm going to be tagging him. Not tagging him, but giving him a little more. Got to keep him. Okay, um, Grant Haley. Pretty sure he's also on the team next year, so. Got to give him a good offer. Let's not overspend on these guys, though. Cody Latimer. <laughs> I need every wide receiver we can get at this point. Okay. Perfect. I could care. Oh, Jalapio's with us next year, too. That should be perfect. Okay, he's going to leave us, too. All right, cool. You know what? We don't need them anyways. I know he's he's, he's staying. I like Corey Coleman. Okay, and I think that should be good. Elijah Penny. You know what? I'll keep you. I'll keep you. You're a chunky fullback. I definitely just overpaid you, but whatever. I mean, I can't get rid of, like, anyone because, like, this team has actually nothing. So if I get rid of anyone, like, the team's going to suck. Okay, so next week, we're going to try to trade for the top picks. Well, we have two picks in the first round, so I'm trying to get those back, considering we this roster didn't give us one, which I guess they can't do. <coughs> Excuse me. So our current pick status, we got pick 14. So I'm going to try to package this for the sixth overall pick. And I'm going to try to package it yeah, right there. Let's see what they want. Oh, we're almost there. What player can I give them? Yeah, let's let's see. What can I offer up here? Since they're not going any further than this year, probably. I just want to get the picks back, so I'll probably give them this right here. Try to get these picks back so we can have a realistic as possible draft. Wow, really? How much do they want? Perfect, okay. So we got our pick back. Again, I'm not trying to cheese anything here. I'm just trying to get our deserved real life picks back. So now, I do need the 17th overall pick. I know that, so let me get that back real quick. 14, pick seven, perfect. What do the Bills want? I'll send you next year's house. That was not valued at all. Hmm. I'm Alec Ogletree. In this rebuild, I'm getting rid of Ogletree. We have to step up the linebacking game. So, yeah, I'm getting rid of Ogletree anyway, so that worked out. I do not feel like he's the future of our linebacking core. Yeah, he got some picks, but the amount of times he blew coverages and didn't cover the cutbacks and everything, like, he, he, he looked better on paper than he was. So, I have no issue getting rid of him. Okay, so now we have our picks. So let's get into the next week. All right, let's see what we can do with this team. Hopefully, hopefully, there's something in store for this team. Hopefully. Um, scout college players. Okay, down. Oh, okay, good. I, I messed this up one time. Import local file. Let me import the real rookies. One time I didn't do that. And I was so pissed off. I literally messed up the whole league. All right, let's scout some players. So, as far as who we're drafting, it depends on what, if there's a quarterback available, I'll probably take one. But again, like, in real life, I feel like the Giants might actually not take a quarterback as well. Because you could be waiting for next year or the next few years to get a quarterback. Because there is some better ones coming up in next few years. So, we do need a pass rusher. So, let's scout Nick Bosa. All right, stop giving me a tutorial on this. I got it. Okay, Quentin Williams, Ed Oliver, Josh Allen. These are all the guys that realistically have a chance of being drafted by them. Dwayne Haskins. I'm sure I'll probably yeah I'll do greedy too just in case cornerbacks are weak. But ooh that zones zones whack. Rashan Gary. All right. I don't really need to, I'm not really going to be scouting much more because I kind of know these players in real life, so. 
I have a pretty good idea as long as it's what's it called mirrors it enough all right all right free agency let me go back what week is this free agency Did I skip some who's been signed already Cream Hunt, doesn't matter. Alright. No one really that relevant's been signed. Who's left? This is a very weak free agency. But in real life, again, the Giants didn't really get... There wasn't many players to be gotten anyways for them, so... Let's see, Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt was a free agent? It's weird. Wow, this was a horrible free agency. There's really nothing we really need here. Maybe I'll take Cliff Averill just because we, we could use another end. Actually, I'm keeping it realistic, right? We didn't get any of these players in real life, so I'm just stick right to the draft. All right, the draft has begun. Colts are on the clock, the first overall pick. But now let's go pick by pick. So the Colts take Quinn and Williams first overall. All right. The Dolphins take Kyler Murray second. Okay. I wish we could have it like real life with the picks, but we can't. Devin White. Okay, there goes one of my one of my picks. Dwayne Haskins. Ooh. The Giants are not getting a quarterback. Alright. That's okay. It's fine. Now. If it was up to me, it looks like it'd be Nick Bosa. It has to be, right? We gotta we gotta sure up the edge. So we definitely we're definitely going edge rusher. The Giants said in real life the defense looks like it's gonna be a big part of the draft for them anyways. Could they be could that be just smoke and uh, I'm trying to confuse people? Probably. Probably is. But I'll be taking my I'll take my chances with agreeing with that. I'll be taking Nick Bosa. We need another edge rusher after losing we after we lost what's his face? Um Olivia Vernon. It says he's the number one overall pick for this draft. Number one overall ranked. Alright, I'm gonna be skipping ahead to the next user pick, which should be me. Pick 17. Let's see who's still available on the board. DK Metcalf is there, so I think I'm going. I'll definitely go in DK Metcalf to replace Odell, because apparently we're going with Eli another season. So gotta get him a good pick. Yeah, I think that's lagging. That's telling me he's the number one ranked player in true talent, because it just told me that before too. So we got we got Metcalf. Let's see. Advance next user pick. Who is still available in this draft that's usable? There is a... Oh, there's a trades for my pick. Hmm. I get two... No, I'll pass. Is there a quarterback still available to learn behind Eli? Hmm. Do I take Daniel Jones in the second round? You know what? Let's get us a quarterback to learn behind Eli. Six foot five from Duke. Raw talent. Let's get him. Let's get him in there. See how Daniel Jones can do behind Eli. Maybe even take the maybe even take the spot. Okay, so now we're gonna advance to next user pick. All right, let's see what we can get. This is where it gets a little trickier. This is where I'm going to start losing track of who's who. So we need... Yeah, we got our wide receiver. <coughs> we need a right tackle. What can we do with right tackle? Do I take out the... Do I get the six foot seven looking beast? No, I need a cornerback. This is tough. We only got 57 seconds left. More safety. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna try to get an O-line. Sure up the O-line. Going with David Edwards. Could be okay. Let's see how that goes. Okay, finish the rest of the draft. I imagine the rest is boring there. Where I players were no name, so. Got DK Metcalf, Nick Bosa, Daniel Jones, David Edwards, Dakota Allen, 
Port Augustine, Josh Oliver, Leonard Bowler, and Sam Must. Mm. Mm. Sam. All right, so let's go upgrade our team from last off season, from the last season that we never upgraded. So Saquon Barkley got plenty of points. Do we go with receiving? I'm gonna give him some more power. Gonna give some, give some Saquon some more power. And I clicked on receiving, but that's okay because he that could be a 90. Yeah, perfect. All right. <coughs> you know what? I'm just gonna auto do this. Not gonna bore you guys with that. Team should be up a little bit now. Let's go put the players in. We got Daniel Jones behind him. Let's see what his stats look like. He's okay. 87 throw power, 80 throw on the run, 81 play action, 81 short accuracy. Okay, he's not too bad. His head's massive. His head is absolutely massive. Got an 80 speed, 83 acceleration. He's got some trucking too. No, he does not, but that's not, it's not bad. He's not bad at all. Where's Metcalf? DK Metcalf. He's looking pretty good with a 93 speed. He's got some great stats. All right. This Metcalf, we're going to rock with this Metcalf. Wish I could play this, but it'd be way too much to be playing this season. But still, we got Nick Bosa with an 82. I'll probably sim through the season, let you guys see how they do first before I get out of this. So this is this realistically looks like what the team could look like next year. Not exactly this player, but it'll be an edge rusher, maybe a linebacker, quite possibly a quarterback, and a wide receiver. Everything else for the most part will stay the same. Oh, and this Edwards guy, six foot seven beast. He's not too bad. He actually, he's okay. He's all right. So let's sim through the season. Let's see how these guys can play. Oh, I almost just sim 10 years. All right. What is this doing? All right. Sim to midseason. Should I put Daniel Jones in? Actually, I'll sim to midseason and see how we're doing. And if not, I'll make the switch to Daniel Jones. Because realistically, I don't think whatever quarterback we have plays at last next year, at least until midseason anyways. So we're going to have to rock with Eli at least half the season from what it's looking like. Do we? Do you think the Giants are doing anything right now? All right, let's see what the conference looks like. All right, they're looking pretty good. Oh, Edwards went down. Oh, God. What are we doing? We're 0-7. Oh, wow. Okay, this is looking very realistic. Very, very realistic. Did Eli fall off the cliff? I think Eli fell off the cliff. We're giving, that, we're giving the Browns the number one overall pick next year. All right, this is where we make the switch. Eli fell off the cliff. He's a 67 overall. Okay, Daniel Jones, you're taking the range for the rest of the season. Sim to playoffs. Wow. Dan Eli fell off a freaking cliff. <coughs> oh, my God. Eli's done. Eli's way done. All right, week 16, week 17. Did we at least pull off an 8-8? Eight and eight? Daniel Jones, how you looking? Oh, Metcalf went down. Oh my God, everyone went down. How bad did we finish? We went one in fifteen. That's the kind of pick I needed last draft. That's horrible. One in fifteen. Does that mean the Giants are the first? I mean, the Browns are like the first overall pick in the next draft. All right, boys. Thank you guys for watching. This was my rebuild of the Giants, and clearly, it was very realistic because the Giants are going to suck next year. They are not going to do that well. Organizations being, I can't say it's being run improperly just yet. We still have to see how things turn out because obviously during a rebuild, everything looks horrible. It does look like we'll probably take a wide receiver, maybe. Maybe a, we might be taking a quarterback, probably. And then some edge rushing and some defense. So, did my best my best impersonation of that. Now, will we probably go 1 15 next year? It's very, it's very likely that we finish with less than four wins. It's highly likely. I mean, Saquon will definitely win us some games, but there's only so many games that your running back will win you. So, you know, I can't be banking on just Saquon winning so many games. But, you know, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, comment down below. Don't forget the 75K. Also, make sure to like, comment, and sub as per usual. Hopefully, we can get to 2K subs by tonight. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.